Hello everyone, how are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to um, all of you in different parts of the world. I'm saying this because I know um, from the feedback and from the people who's been contacting me that indeed I've raised awareness on different um, HCPC registrants all over the world so that's why I'm posting this video just partly to thank you all for appreciating and um, watching my videos and hopefully it has helped you in, in, in different ways um, and that's exactly my aim um, so I'm so grateful um, again for those of you who just um, new to my channel and this videos um, I've been doing this vlogs to help new registrants new qualified physiotherapists here in the UK especially who are internationally qualified and um, raise awareness and um, help them in their journey of of practicing here in the UK so um, yeah lots to catch up with since I did my last video um, it's been four months since I've started from my new job it's a band six um, rotational um, physiotherapist role um, I I started my first rotation is um, it's the service is called the integrated supported discharge um, team which is sort of an intermediate care unit um, so we see patients who's uh, been discharged from hospital and requires a certain level of um, care so um, we're on a pathway one those who are who are requiring a package of care either requiring a new package of care or has an increased package of care um, and yes so that that's my first rotation and I'm yeah I'm quite enjoying the job it's been fulfilling since um, there's a lot of things that needs to be supported with patients being, um, getting discharged from hospital. So yes, it's been a busy start. Um, I took time as well to learn the service, the job, and the things that needs to be done within my role. Um, I've been to several supervisions already and into my first probation meeting um, because it's been past three months so I had that probation meeting in um, three months and then another one in the sixth month um, and just to update I volunteered to be a infection control and prevention ancient champion um, and in September as well I've been nominated as or have been awarded as the employee of the month so that's kind of an exciting update on my journey in the few, first few months of my job but this post is all about learning new things especially for those who I'm aiming to support with which are the international qualified um, uh, uh, registrants and today and in this video I'll be talking about the CPD portfolio okay um, because this is one of the things that was raised um, on the by one of who uh, of the people who contacted me and asking support just to emphasize again um, when you get registered with HCPC 
you're supposed to you're supposed to have that information and um, resources um, for a newly as a newly registrant um, in different topics one of which was the the webinar uh, when you got registered you you were you should be invited on that webinar introducing you to the UK workforce and things that you may need to learn um, and actually it has helped me as well because it has given resources that can be helpful um, but yeah I'm just saying that HCPC don't forget that HCPC is another source of information and things that you might need in your in the first part of your journey as a newly qualified or newly registrant here in the UK and please make use of that they have webinars they have um, um, resources to read um, that they send you they, they have CPDs as well that you can make use for this portfolio and have a read have a um, browse on their website about the the CPD uh, the need for the CPD and what is what is this portfolio for um, just to emphasize that all registrants uh, with the HCPEC needs to co comply with um, meeting the the required CPDs for you to get registered again after two years um, and although it won't be everyone but um, they get people selected for a, an audit um, wherein they will check you check your CPDs and um, and uh, get personal statements as well um, and check if you're complying with the C uh, requirements regarding their CPD and actually you're expected to have no gaps of of more than two months between your between your CPD um, submissions or records so it is important to know that you need to have your CPDs um, regularly so that in case you get um, an audit from the HCPC you have the the um, the CP the requirements they need and aside from the HCPC website you can also check the CSP that's why I'm um, always promoting CSP as you know <laughs> Because it's is actually a good help in this kind of things as well. Not just that it's a union, your professional union, but it's it's also good for CPDs and resources that you may need, um, particularly as a newly registrant. Um, check CSP's website as well, uh, and we have these. You can actually make your portfolio, your CPD portfolio, through their e-portfolio um, section. Um, check their website. Um, you can you can actually find a video there, a video for a guide in case you need familiarization of the use of CPD and how the e-portfolio can be useful to you. And yeah, have a browse of the e-portfolio. So it it actually gives you a lot of templates on writing your CPDs and filing them in your records. Um, uh, I think there's 13 of them. Um, there's um, the Gibbs prompts where you can use that for like, for example, ge uh, geographical field trips. You had 
the SWOT analysis, this the strength, weakness, opportunities, threats analysis, um, uh, which is very common and popular. There's also those uh, templates for learning from formal events, from your uh, from a critical appraisal when, for example, you're reviewing a book, a blog, or a presentation, for example. Um, learning from doing, which is based on the Kolb cycle, and uh, a lot of other templates there. I think you have 13 all in all. Um, or you can use um, any other templates that you may know from your you, previous trainings university or or workplace as well but it's just the point is you need to be doing this and recording this regularly okay it's a requirement as a registrant and to get you registered again and it's good for you as well to be developing your developing and updating your skills and knowledge so um so it's 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 an important part of our responsibilities hopefully that's um helpful for every one of you again thank you for listening to my videos in case you're a csp member check the mentoring scheme if you think you want to have a one-to-one -one mentoring with me and i I'll be able to help you then just check me up my name there and contact me okay so see you on my next video